What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a wonderful day, night, or evening, wherever you live. Hopefully all of you are having a great day, no matter the time you watch this video, because today I'm here to talk about Relife. The highly requested Relife video. Many of you, for many weeks now, have been asking me, where is the Relife full series review? Where is my final thoughts on the series? And today... Here I am to bring you my final thoughts on the Relife anime. Now, I finished the anime series about sometime last week, around like a Wednesday, Thursday. I finished it, and I truly enjoyed my ride I had with it. And it's been a while since I actually saw the final episode, so I actually just rewatched the final two episodes of Relife to kind of get my overall thoughts uh, once again fresh before I can talk about it in this video. So, Relife, a series that I truly want to say that it really gave me a lot more entertainment than I expected, and it turned out to be such a great series that I honestly am surprised how much I enjoyed it when I finally got to the final episode of the series. And to kind of do some brief story time with all of you, kind of what I was doing when I was watching it, so I was actually watching Real Life at a slow pace. I was like watching, you know, let's say an episode like every night or so before I go to bed, maybe two episodes, head to bed, watch an episode, and it just, you know, it was spread out between days. It's just when I was free and I felt like having a bite to eat real quick before going to bed, that's kind of what I was doing with Real Life. I was watching it before going to bed and watching it like that it really kind of relaxed me to the point to where I was just so happy and it was just a great way to kind of end off the day of anime or just end a day a really good day it's just it's a perfect way so what is real life about now if you haven't seen my first impressions I do recommend checking out my first impressions of real life which I'll probably have linked in the description if it's not there there is a playlist I made of real life so if you want to check it out you can check it out for yourself just go to my playlist on the main channel homepage you know and they'll look for real life. So, besides that, the series. I want to say it's a coming of age story. That, that's what I want to say. But in the same way, I can't really call it that because it's not really about that overall. The plot of real life is something that I'm very surprised hasn't been done well. No, in another way, the plot has been done. But not in this exact way. Like the twist to it. And that would be the main character, Kaizaki actually being an adult, a 27-year-old adult in high school. And that, it's a really weird theme. You think would have been done a long time ago. Maybe there is something out there like that already in anime-wise. I just have yet to see it. But in terms of me having seen a lot of anime, being a big fan of th this type of, like, anime, like, you know, ro like, slight romance with some school life and stuff like that, it, it just seems like something that I would really, you know, like or something I would have already felt if there was anything like it. And so Real Life is a very fresh and unique series, especially when it comes to this anime season, Summer of anime and also for this year of anime it's just it's a very fresh series that really kept me entertained and seeing our main character Kaizaki being an adult thrusted into a high school setting it adds a very interesting dynamic to the series and I feel like in a way the writer of this series that wrote you know real life I felt like he wanted people that were already out of high school people that were in college people that were you know already carrying on with their lives having children or whatever I feel like that's kind of what the writer is going for the, those type of people to actually read this series or watch this series for you could self insert into the anime slash manga because let me explain this series, I think, would be enjoyable for high school students, any students of age, middle school and up, but I feel like this series is best appreciated if you have already graduated high school. Now, like I said, hear me out, I'm not saying that you can't appreciate it if you're still in high school or uh, middle school or whatever, I'm just saying, as a person that has already graduated from high school, I'm 21 years old, it's like I can self-insert myself into Kaizaki's character. Now, I don't have as much personal experience as, you know, with life and society as Kaizaki probably does since he's lived a lot longer, but I could still self-insert in some ways because I'm like, I remember going to high school. I remember having to deal with all these different issues and social problems and all that. And I mean, I remember how, you know, I was in high school. And now seeing him, like, frosted in the high school and he has to remember what to do, I'm like, most likely I would act like this. Like, straight up. If I was, like, a 27-year-old, 
old or you know even now 21 year old and I was thrown into let's say freshman year of high school I would probably be like holy shit what do I do I gotta talk to all these kids and stuff I, I just feel so out of place and so real life offers that experience it offers this very distinct experience for people that have already graduated high school like I said I feel like that's the best way to kind of enjoy this series but once again that doesn't mean that you have to already be out of school to enjoy the series now moving past that though other things that truly got me interested in the series was the whole aspect of the romance subject of real life because as we know the main character he's a 27 year old man going into high school and instantly you can already you know point the dots together and you know like okay so he can't get with anyone it, it, it's not a possibility because that's illegal it's illegal as fuck so he can't get with let's say a high school girl since he's already 27 it's just completely wrong so when you see this romance on the side or this possibility of romance you're constantly asking is this sh should this be allowed can he actually do that and even though in the series it's actually point blank said that after his year in this school all of the memories from everybody he's been with will be erased. So that means everybody, all the students, everybody he's intermingled with, the teachers, all that, all their memories are completely erased and they will not remember Kaizaki, our main character. Now, with this, some people could abuse the program and probably do some things with high school girls that are completely unmorally right. But Kaizaki, being a very nice, good man, he doesn't do that type of stuff. And he thinks, like, I can't really get with anyone because it would be wrong. And he kind of treats the entire cast, like, all of his, I guess, friends he's made in high school as, like, you know, I guess, younger brothers or sisters, just trying to teach him to go the right path, which is very ironic because Kaizaki, the reason why he's in the school in the first place and why a 27-year-old man is in high school is because of what type of life decisions he made in his, you know, path, his career choice. And once again, I gotta go back to how you can self-insert into this series, because I feel like everybody in one point or time in their life, even in high school, middle school, whatever, there's probably some decisions you have made to where you're constantly thinking back, like, I wish I could have done that differently. I wish I could have changed this certain thing about my life, and then maybe I could have had this. And I mean, you know, people are probably always asking, uh, asking this type of question. I, I'm willing to bet there's many that ask this on a daily. And seeing this type of stuff of how the main character character has to think back on his decisions of the choices he's made it really goes to show like oh my god this is a very mature series when you really get down into it and it's like a very fresh high school setting even though it's in high school it still feels like it's like in college or something because that's kind of what it is now other things to talk about too besides that is that the series overall i feel like it has a perfect, perfect presence and presentation when it comes to the viewpoint of the main character, because it's like us as the viewer. Many times he is us, the viewer, kind of viewing the entire anime series, because there's many out there. I remember when I was, you know, watching anime for the first time, and I was seeing these high school students, and middle school students in anime, I'm like, oh my god, clearly there's some romance going on between these characters, they're gonna get together, you know, how this drama is done here and there, and seeing how the main character is kind of going from point A to point B, and he's trying to fix these certain problems or he's giving them encouraging support with like some pep talk. It's just something like, you know, how some of us anime viewers are, how we act when we're watching a series or what we're thinking. So it's kind of like the main character too is us, the audience, the entire time. So I feel like what really is going for real life is definitely the main character. The main character, I think, is the best part about the entirety of the anime series. That's not even just getting into, like I said, the concept, like the plot of the series. And I don't want to spoil a lot of details because I kind of want to make this video as a way to get you all into the series to watch it. So I don't want to spoil some certain key plot points, especially what happens towards the end of the season of Real Life. But I will say this, however, some of the, you know, plot twists that happened in the final couple episodes, I truly did not expect or see coming and I I'm really tempted on reading the manga and I do hope one day real life gets a season two which that's something I need to talk about now so real life the entirety of the series was released on one day the same exact week all 13 episodes released on the exact same day when the summer of anime 2016 began and it was quite the stunning revelation to be honest like all the episodes of an anime series to air on Crunchyroll all at once it's just it's unheard of it's completely unheard of. And when I saw that, I'm like, is this going to become like a new norm or something? Will anime companies start releasing maybe like all the episodes similar to how Netflix does? You know, if you know how Netflix does, usually they release an entire season like once per year, like they do House of Cards, which, oh, House of Cards, fucking, mm, good series. But still, 
Netflix, they release like an entire season with a full list of episodes like per year. And I wonder if some anime companies might be trying to do that maybe with other streaming platforms like let's say Crunchyroll, releasing all the episodes at once on a yearly basis. I would love to see something like that. Like for instance, if we get to see more anime kind of like real life all produced at once and just, uh, you know, put out, I would truly be so happy. I mean, it would be a really cool experience because there's many series out there I wish were all available at once like for instance ReZero. I would love to have every single episode of ReZero out right now for I could just watch them, but in other circumstances, I understand why companies do that, to build up hype, to have merchandise selling and stuff like that. It's, it's another example in different marketing and stuff. That's an entirely different video, but I, I just am really glad the direction that ReLife took. It's a good step in the right direction for some anime releases, and I do hope one day ReLife does get a season two, but here is the problem I have with the, I, I guess, the entirety of the release of ReLife season one. With Real Life Season 1 being released all at once, I'm kind of worried that the popularity of this series will not be as big as some of the other series from this anime season. I'm willing to bet many by now have probably already forgotten about Real Life. If you've already watched it, it probably hasn't even crossed your mind for weeks until you probably saw this video title. I'm willing to bet it. Many probably have already forgotten about the series, it went to the back of their brain, they just don't even remember, they didn't care about reading the manga or whatever. I'm kind of worried since the series came out all at once, which this is the negative of it coming all at once, I'm kind of worried since it came all at once and there, the season is still ongoing since there's just so many anime coming out like let's say Mob Psycho 100, Taboo Tattoo, I mean uh, Amama and all that type of series, Amanshu. There's a lot of series coming out that are very, very good and enjoyable and I feel like these series will overshadow re-life because it came out so early all at once once everybody's done watching it they're gonna just completely forget about it because all these other series that come out on a weekly basis will just you know kind of reset everybody's mind where they won't remember real life at all so i feel like in a way it is a negative for series to actually come out all at once too there is a good thing about it and a bad thing about it it's a good thing if you really like the series and you want to binge watch it but it's a bad thing because of other series might overshadow it completely so yeah, that, that's kind of my worry. I, I do hope ReLife, you know, it gets a lot of sales since it released all at once. I do hope it sells well, the BDs, DVDs sell well, the merchandise and all that. Because it is a series I would love to see a season 2 on. I, especially with that cliffhanger and the final points of the series, like the final plot points. It was something I want to see more of. I do. And I think the anime series ends off on chapter 100. I could be wrong about that. I remember some form of Chiba letting me know on Twitter and Facebook that apparently Real Life's anime ends off at chapter 100. Now, like I said, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong with that. Take that with a grain of salt. But that's kind of what I heard. I think that's the exact chapter title where, you know, Real Life ends off of. And so I could probably start on chapter 101 to continue with the series through the manga. And I believe there's like 130-something chapters out right now of the manga. So that's 30 something chapters, and I don't know necessarily how long chapters are of real life. I don't know if they're like, you know, 10, uh, 10 pages, 20 pages, 40 pages, 80 pages. I mean, there's different types of chapter releases that have small ch amount of pages to a large amount of pages, so I don't know exactly how many pages real life has on each individual chapter, and I have no idea the release schedule, so if anyone could clarify that in the comments below, please do so. So yeah, real life overall. It was a very enjoyable experience. It's definitely something I'm glad I sat down to watch. And it's definitely something I would rewatch again if I knew what I knew now. Like if I if someone walked up to me and said, Hey, Chibi, you, you need to go watch Real Life and they told me kind of the plot, oh, instant watch. I, I would. It, it's definitely a series I enjoyed. I will miss it. I will definitely miss this series. I will definitely miss the anime of being able to watch it and binge watch it as my leisure. But all good things must come to an end. I mean, that's the cold hard truth. All good anime, even all bad manga or anime, everything must eventually come to an end. And so it's kind of sad that I have to say this is probably one of my final videos of Real Life's anime because I don't know if we'll ever have a season two. It saddens me, but it still was enjoyable and I'm glad I watched it. A very good experience. So yeah, I, I fully recommend starting the series if you are interested in the concept of the series please do so go watch it for yourself it's all on crunchyroll you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe she be out